As far as free-to-play games go, it's hard to keep and maintain an audience. Getting something for free means no risk on the consumer's part. They can come in and get out relatively quickly if they don't like it. It says a lot about a free game that's managed to not only regularly increase its player base, and also crank out enough regular content to keep the most hardcore players occupied, but that's exactly what Grinding Gear Games has been able to do with Path of Exile. This spring, it will receive a new update, titled Bestiary, that adds tons of new activities, items, recipes, and challenges for high-level players, all for the low price of free. We got a chance to see some of the content players can expect from the update. The heart of the Bestiary expansion is the Record Book. It's a collection of monsters, crafting recipes, and other goals for late-game players to accomplish and collect. However, the goal isn't to kill the monsters and collect their materials like you would do in a game like Monster Hunter. Instead, you are tasked with capturing a certain amount of them to fulfill quest objectives and then fight them all at once in order to craft powerful new gear and augmentations. You'll be given access to an area known as the Menagerie. Think of it as your own personal zoo, where you can see all of the monsters you currently have captured in one easy-to-access area. You can also see what monsters you have collected in your bestiary as well. One of the most appealing things about Path of Exile is the deep customization options it gives players to outfit their characters. The bestiary update, out March 2nd on PC and a bit after that on Xbox, comes with a brand new crafting system built entirely around capturing specific monsters in order to use them in recipes for new items or to augment existing ones. Once you've captured the monsters necessary for your recipe, you won't just click a button and create an item, you'll have to battle the monsters inside an arena located in your hideout. If you fail, you lose the monsters using the recipe. But if you succeed, you'll be able to augment a property of an already existing item or craft one of the new powerful pieces of gear. Once you win the fight, the monsters you've collected and fought will be gone, so if you want to craft that recipe again, you'll have to go out and recapture those monsters. Some of these are very rare, and you might only encounter them every 10 to 20 hours. This system is cleverly designed in that it actually makes players work for the gear they want to acquire and locks out any potential for a friend to carry you through difficult encounters and capture monsters you can't beat on your own. For the first time in Path of Exile, armor set pieces are being added into the game. However, they don't act the way you'd expect high-level armor pieces to work in other RPGs. For now, the only thing set pieces share is aesthetic. Each individual piece has a special ability associated with it. In this way, players can avoid having to use entire sets for just one or two benefits, and instead mix and match many different items from multiple sets. The Atlas is also receiving some in-game content from our hardcore players. Previously, both the Elder and Shaper bosses couldn't appear on the same map. Both encounters were considered to be some of the hardest content in the game. This content, according to the developers, is only meant for the top 0.1% of hardcore players. It's meant to be as difficult as possible and inspire Twitch streamers to push themselves to the limit. The team believes that there should always be content for lower level players to aspire to, and in a world where lots of games are forsaking that in order to try and grab a more casual audience, it's a breath of fresh air. With that difficulty comes incredibly powerful items that only a few people will ever get access to. One of the unique items we were able to see was a quiver called the Void Fletcher, which fired void arrows on top of the arrows you were already shooting. The developer says these items are incredibly powerful and only meant to be chased by high level players. Additionally. Grinding Gear Games is completely reworking the Ascendancy system for every class and PoE. The developers thought that over time, the viable class choices offered in the Ascendancy system were gradually getting lower over time, especially as many of the mechanics available in those trees were cropping up on different items and skills. So to breathe new life into the classes, the developers have gone back and created entirely new abilities only available in the Ascendancy trees, in order to try and differentiate the classes from each other and hopefully provide players with more viable build options. Path of Exile's Bestiary expansion is out March 2nd of PC. For more on Path of Exile, stay tuned to IGN.